had a fabulous start to December. So I haven't actually long been home. Jamie and I have been out all day today at a very exciting photo shoot. It kind of blows my mind when I think about it and I can't wait to share with you what the photo shoot was for. Um, but I'll be able to share really soon guys. But it was just, oh, I'm on such a high, like I'm just feeling so, I don't even know the words. I'm just feeling so happy and blessed and just, yeah, exciting times ahead, guys. Very exciting times. But yeah, how are you guys? What have you been up to for the first week of December? I am feeling so festive. Do you know what? Throughout November, I wasn't feeling my, my festivest. <laughs> I think it's because, as you guys know, I've had the world's longest UTI. So I've been a little bit down in the dumps, I won't lie. And when you're poorly, like you just feel very like, ugh. Um, so I wasn't, I, I mean, don't get me wrong. The Christmas spirit is always in me. And I, I always like look forward to Christmas, but I wasn't feeling like my most festive. But this week we have some of my favorite Christmas traditions coming up, which always just make me feel like warm and fuzzy. <laughs> I feel like December as a month, it's the warm and fuzzy month. Like I just constantly feel this like, this like super excited feeling. I love the build up for Christmas so much. Um, I just love the atmosphere and everyone seems happier. Me and mum are actually going to pick her Christmas tree at the end of the week, which will be in Wednesday's vlog. Um, and that's something I just look forward to every year. I feel like when mum has her tree, it is Christmas, you know? Um, so yeah, some really exciting traditions to look forward to. Also some new traditions in our new home. And yeah, it's gonna be a great month. Really looking forward to it. So I'm just about to start cooking tonight's dinner. And tonight I have my HelloFresh box. You guys know I get one of these every single week. And they are fabulous for nights like tonight where, you know, we haven't been at home all day. I haven't had time to plan a meal tonight or go food shopping. And having this delivered is just so convenient every single week because the nights that I get HelloFresh for, I don't have to worry about meal planning. I don't have to worry about food shopping. It's just so convenient. So as you guys know, I get a HelloFresh box every single week, but today's video is actually very kindly sponsored by HelloFresh, which is so exciting. And if you haven't heard of HelloFresh before, they are a fabulous recipe box delivery service. And you can choose how many meals you have a week for however many people are in your family. Um, I usually just get three meals a week for two people. There are so many different recipes to choose from. And each week you will get a a box delivered to your door full of fresh ingredients and also recipe cards and also another thing as well it's a great way to learn how to cook or if you find yourself kind of like eating uh, this is me I'm guilty for this if I find like an easy healthy meal I'll cook it all the time and then I'll get sick of it so HelloFresh is a great way to kind of learn how to cook new meals and also it's a great way to teach your other half how to cook jamie jamie is great at hello fresh so i have an offer for you guys today as always i will leave a link um down below to hello fresh if you click the link below you will get 50 percent off your first box and then 35 percent off your next three boxes which is amazing i feel like hello fresh helps you save money anyway um like i save so much money on food shopping just getting meals three times a week and it adds a little more like variety in my diet as well it enables me to cook things that i wouldn't necessarily think of cooking so in this week's box i chose three delish meals so we have roasted chicken breast in plum hoisin sauce this looks incredible and as you can see on each of the recipe cards i love the recipe cards i feel like it's so much it's so much more of like a nicer cooking experience to have this and if you flip this over all of the instructions are on the back. Also, HelloFresh have actually started offering breakfast and lunch as well, which is super yummy. Um, so you can get those. And also they have launched their Christmas dinner for this year, which looks amazing. So in this week's box, I also have chicken, red wine, jus and mushroom stew. I think I'll get Jamie to do this one tomorrow. Again, the instructions are on the back. And I think tonight actually, I'm feeling like a really just 
easy, um, quick, healthy dinner tonight. And you guys know how obsessed I am with the HelloFresh stir fries. I love them. They are, oh my God, they're so good. Yeah, I'm gonna cook this one. This is a 20 minute meal. So at the top of your recipe card, you'll see how long they take. 20 minutes to cook a fresh meal is nothing. Like that's so quick. So yeah, I'm gonna make this chicken thigh chow mein. Yum. How amazing does this look? So quick, so easy, literally took me 20 minutes and I cannot wait to eat this, it smells amazing. So like I said earlier guys, I will leave a link down below for you and you can try HelloFresh and get 50% off your first box and 35% off the next three boxes with my code Gemma Louise Miles. Billy has a new bed. <laughs> Looks comfy, darling. I have made a breakfast bowl for today's brunch. This is literally like one of my favorite things to make at the moment, especially now it's colder, it's just oh, lovely and warm. So we have got some baked beans, some vine ripened tomatoes, which I popped in the pan so they kind of go like cooked. Oh, I love them. Then I also have two chicken sausages, which I just cut up before cooking. They cook so much quicker if you cut them into slices. And then I also have two fried eggs. Okay, why do I look like I have half a head? Guys, I've had to put a cap on today. I always feel like Joe from you whenever I wear a cap, like I'm gonna go do some sneaky things. But in reality, we're just going to Primark. I haven't been to Primark in so long. I am due a visit and we're going to a new Primark today. Oh, there's lots going on, there's an indicator. First things first, heated seat on. Guys, it's frosty today. There is frost on my windscreen. Uh, my hands are like ice. I feel just very happy about that. I feel like once frost is here, you know, it's Christmas. Um, so yeah, I'm going to a Primark that I haven't been to today. Um, a little bit nervous, but I won't lie. I am a bit pathetic, right? I don't really 
like going to places I've never been before on my own. Like I like to go with someone to scope it out and then I get the confidence to go on my own. But guys, we're going together today. We're gonna go see what it's like. Also, if I'm ridiculously bunged up for the rest of this video, I don't know what's happened to me this morning. Since I've been up and awake, I'm just like so bunged up. So not too sure what's going on there, but we move on. Um, is my hat way too big for me? I feel, I, do you know what? I really struggle with caps. I think I have like a very pea head and I struggle with woolly hats, caps. They're always just way too big and like they end up going to like here so I just have no eyes. Um, but I'm trying to kind of like hold it down with my hair through the little loop. Anyway, um, first stop is I need to take Jamie, his mouse, to our warehouse because he forgot it. So I'm gonna do that on the way. And I thought as well, actually, I could show you guys a Girl of Muse warehouse update because I think the only time you guys have seen it, actually, um, was when we first moved into it. So, so much has changed since then. Honestly, Jamie has built so much in there and it honestly just looks so different. So we'll give you a little warehouse tour when we get there. I thought it'd be nice to show you guys that. But first things first, let's put some Christmas tunes on. Let's have a little Christmas drive with me. Do you know what? It's been a long time since we've done a drive with me and I miss them. I love nothing more than bopping along with you guys in the car. I'm going to put on Christmas Hits. It's just a playlist on Spotify. <laughs> Spotify. Spotify, if you type in Christmas, Christmas Hits come up. And what I love to do is just a bit of a lucky dip. I love to shuffle it. I like to see what the first song. I feel like the first song that is selected by Shuffle sets the mood. This is the one that's going to set the mood today. We're going for chilled vibes today. Guys, what is your favourite Christmas song ever? Give me your top three. My top three are Wonderful Christmas Time, classic. Um, most Wonderful Time of the Year, also I love that one. And probably say and all i want for christmas all i want for christmas is you for number three i just feel like they're classics to be fair i love all of them and i don't dislike any christmas songs um but yeah let me know your guys faves it's the most beautiful time of the year i can't see the sun's in my eyes it's the most wonderful time of the year here we are, we have arrived at Girl of Muse HQ, here he is. <laughs> so I feel like it's changed a hell of a lot since you guys last saw it. I mean, is it really necessary? <laughs> yes, Jamie's just filling up the hand soap for you guys for when you come, oh, come round. Whoa, Jamie's tidying up is filling up the hand soap. <laughs> <laughs> and then hiding the uh, fairy up liquid bottle. Fairy up liquid. Audi special. It's washing up liquid or fairy. Hey. It's not fairy up liquid. Yeah. Didn't you over to Jamie for Thank the tour? Guys. Welcome <laughs> to my crib. <laughs> literally, <laughs> quite literally your crib recently. <laughs> <laughs> Jamie sleeps on this pull-out bed here. <laughs> That's, not a bed. That's actually the ironing board. You actually could get a mattress for it, you know. It's actually the exact size. Yeah. Of a double mattress. Is it really? Yeah, because I, I put a double sheet. That's the ironing board. Oh, yeah. and you put a double sheet on it to iron. Yeah. Here's the showroom. <laughs> the showroom. No, this is uh... It's because everyone keeps taking pieces from this rack, getting smaller and smaller yeah. and smaller. But also, so this was the uh, product photography pieces. Yes. So we had one piece of everything. It was all pinned out on boards. We've got our lighting set up in here. Could have done with a hoop, but please ignore that. <laughs> <laughs> so all our lighting's down there. These are our picking and packing systems. We've got three of them. Lovely. So they run sim simultaneously. You get your iPad. You get your scanner. <laughs> Here he is. Now, 
Come on down. <laughs> We're in the middle of uh, a bit of a restock at the minute as well. Final pieces are coming through from Turkey. We've got a few boxes up there to put on the shelves as well. So, so it's a bit, this, bit chaotic. Yeah, Jamie built all of this. This like floor. This is my makeshift desk as well at the minute. We are moving. We're going to show them the new place as well, aren't mm -hmm. we? So these are the packing stations. Two packers are set up at the minute. So what happens is... And Jamie built all of this, guys. Isn't he clever? Got a CCTV system, security system in. Yeah, all right. Got an automatic. So if a courier comes and we're not here, go on my phone and open the door for them. Please deliver. Trust the white desk from Jamie. Oh, <laughs> my old desk. This is how posh we are at Girl at News <laughs> HQ. We've even got a marble mouse map. Oh, my old desk, the old <laughs> memories. This desk served me well. And this is our new unit. So we literally have one here and one here. We just need to take over this one now as well. <laughs> so then we have all three. <laughs> so, yeah. Jamie's just in the process of doing this one at the moment. Yeah, so let's have a look. I have got a doormat coming as well, which I bought. Obviously, the winter. Hey. I'll build the desk. Give it a hoover. <laughs> oh, it's a nice big desk space. Yeah, it is. The investment we're trying to get over here. <sighs> Lovely. Ta da! So I've painted all of that floor, but I've not painted the square here. So that's why I have to do it. Somewhere. Is it wet? No. No, no, it's still dry. I'll paint it on Saturday. So this one's a bit bigger than our other one. Well, actually, it, it looks a lot bigger than. Our other one. It's about half the size again. Oh, okay, yeah, it does look that. It looks so much bigger, actually. Oh, cool. So it'll be in more sections. Cool. Yeah. Cool, looks really good. Looks really good. Okay, we have arrived. They've got some cute Christmas pajamas here. These socks are so cute. They feel so cozy and they've got the little stickery bits on the bottom. Got like the whole family set here, which I love. And then we also have lots of gifts over here. The Santa hat is super cute. They have these cozy slippers. We've got hot chocolate flavored milkshake sets. These are cute. I always think these are a really nice little stocking filler. They've got a few different ones of those with cookie cutters. Then they also have as well loads of different mugs, which I always think makes such a cute Christmas gift. That is a huge mug. Got loads of different ones down here as well. Little hot water bottle sets they also have as well loads of super cute christmas decor i love these i might get a few of these for the fireplace actually these are four pounds each and they're just little light up houses they've got little nutcrackers oh i love all the christmas bits and how cute is this a little mini tree with baubles and i love like the hessian little sack thing it's in, I think that's cute. They've got loads of Mickey Mouse gifts, this giant cookie, which is cool. Then there's also some Lilo and Stitch bits. This train is super cute. And they also have some more mugs, some little chocolate lollipops. They literally have so many super cute gifts. And then I love this. This is a mug cake set. And I just, I appreciate how big this mug is. <laughs> then they also as well have some skillet kits. I always think these make a great gift as well. And then we also as well have some American sweet sets down here, which are amazing. And these are seven pounds. Okay, the cutest cozy sock award goes to Primark. How cute are these little reindeer ones? I'm gonna have to get a few pairs of these. There's also as well, these cute wooden garlands. These are three pounds 50. And then these gorgeous little pine cone wreaths, which are already pre-lit. How adorable are these? 
Oh, these are so cute. There's a snowman, the snowman's six pounds. There's also a gingerbread man as well. And he is 12 pounds. And then there's also this reindeer. Love them all. I want them all. 12 pounds again. And they've got some little like hanging ones here, which I actually think would look really cute on the kitchen shelves because they've got the little hanging legs, which are really cute. They are three pounds fifty. And then we've got a giant one down here, which is faulty apparently, but it's twenty pounds. Guys, we've arrived at the pajamas, and the first thing I see is this gorgeous set of pajamas i love these i love how neutral they are they're also that like super soft fleecy but not too hot material and you get the top and bottom with these and they are let me find the price for you guys they are 13 pounds <gasps> i'm definitely going to be buying these today i absolutely love them they also have them in this very pale green color which is also super cute oh my god they're so soft and also these slippers literally look like the white company ones they're memory foam they feel really comfy and these are how much are you struggling to find the price on everything today guys i'm out of practice guys we've struck gold look what i've just found some Grinch slippers. Oh my god, they are so cute. I'm hoping to find some Grinch um, pajamas in here today. But they've got loads of cute slipper socks. They also have these slipper socks as well. Loads of different ones. Disney pajamas. Oh my god, these are these match the socks. Cozy pajamas. These are so cute. What a fabulous gift. I say this every single year, but I feel like these pajamas are just such a great gift for anyone in the family and these and these are eight pounds for the top and bottom they also have these super cute polar bear ones also these classic red tartan ones these are giving me christmas eve vibes there's also as well this like beautiful plum colored velvet ones and also this green they've got loads of different ones my christmas is made look what i found the Grinch pajamas. Look how cute those pajama bottoms are. Oh, I absolutely. Oh my god, look. Oh, so cute. I love them. Also have as well lots of the pajamas in a box, which I always think makes a lovely gift. Fifteen pounds. They've got Mickey Mouse ones. They've got Winnie the Pooh ones as well. Cute. These are just like a polar bear with your bottoms and also your socks love so cute and only 12 pounds they also have these super soft pajama sets i love these these are like not too hot um but they're also but they're just like more of like a loungewear kind of vibe these are 12 pounds i love the gray but they also have them in more of like a oatmeal kind of color here and they also have as well baby pink they also have these christmas pajamas as well with a red waffle knit top and the cutest candy cane bottoms stop it a christmas snuddy forget dressing up on christmas day i'm gonna be wearing this i think i might get everyone one of these who's coming to mine and the uniform for christmas dinner is this how cozy this is honestly the best nightwear section i think i've ever seen in primark they have the pajamas that i showed you guys earlier but in the night dress version which is cute they've got loads of dressing gowns i love these sleep shirts as well so comfortable to wear okay as you first come into primark they've got this really big section of all of their neutral knitwear bits which are so gorgeous i love this jumper here this like roll neck super chunky jumper I think that is so nice they also have it in gray as well and i spotted this jumper actually when i first came in i love how slouchy this looks it's also so soft i think i might need to get this one as well they've got loads of lovely neutral bits in i love this whole section here there's so many nice things i love this very plain white jumper as well then over this side we have again some more very plain jumpers i love this little knitted vest i think that would look cute with a nice white shirt underneath 
Then we've got some more basic bits here. Got these leather look, kind of like a mocha color legging. I think this is really cute as well. Those two would look gorgeous together with a white shirt underneath that. We've got a leather blazer. Or neutral snake print cord. And this shacket is gorgeous. Oh, I definitely don't need any more shackets, but this is so nice. Love the big pockets. Love the material as well. It's almost like a brushed kind of material. Christmas jumpers. I'm gonna have to get my mum this. We're always on the hunt for like a cute Christmas jumper and we always say we'd love like the reindeers pulling Santa along. So I'm gonna have to get my mum this one. These are all 13 pounds. There is an elf one here. Also this red one with cute little penguins on. Oh, they're so cute. And then over here, we've got more of like a, kind of like a thin jumper with a cute wreath on. Guys, look at these gorgeous chunky scarves. They are six pounds. Oh, I absolutely love these. I love both colors, the chocolate and the nude. They've also got this like patchwork color, striped neutrals. Oh, these are gorgeous. So nice. Definitely gonna pick a few of those up. How many times have I said that? Also just spotted as well, the chocolate brown version of the little vest that was at the front of the shop. Look at all of these gorgeous neutral coats. Oh my God, I'm in my element. I love this oversized teddy coat. Oh my God, there's so many nice ones. The jacket that we saw earlier. And then we also have as well, this like fleecy jacket. Primark home is looking cute. I love this super festive bedding, so cute. They also as well have some faux fur, throws they've got the gray one the white one these lovely cushions as well quite a few christmas scents and candles we've got frost pine and winter woods so that's kind of giving me like white company vibes then we also have as well this winter spice broom spray there is also as well a forest pine and winter woods one and then there's quite a few cute candles as well oh this one looks nice cute oh i love these as well they would look nice on the christmas table good evening guys as you can see i'm now home from primark i'm feeling all festive today i don't know what it is i just feel like it's literally half four and it's pitch black and i think the fact that it gets dark early now oh, it just feels so festive and cozy so I stopped at Morrison's on the way home because we didn't get a chance, well, I didn't make a roast dinner this Sunday. And you guys know, let me just turn Mellow Magic off before YouTube has a go at me. Yeah, if you guys saw my last vlog, you will know that I'm currently in the process of trialing my Christmas dinner sides. <laughs> so, so far I have done the Jamie Oliver roast potatoes, which were amazing. And I feel like, I feel like I've perfected those now. Um, and they're good to go on Christmas day, but there's quite a few other sides. Like I want to make Christmas dinner really special. Are you guys really bright? I feel like that's better. Look like a blooming ghost a minute ago. I mean, I have scrubbed my fake tan off, so um, I'm looking a little bit pasty. But yeah, for Christmas day, I want to make just loads of really special dishes that I haven't made before and I feel like it makes it a little bit different from like a normal roast dinner and just makes it a little bit more Christmassy. So I popped to Morrison's to get um, roast dinner bits. Well, kind of like a mini roast dinner because um, obviously it's like half four now so I don't have all the time in the world to cook it. But I've got a chicken, chicken in the bag, cooking away in the oven. Um, I'm going to do the Jamie Oliver roast potatoes again, which I filmed in my last video. So if you are interested in seeing how I did those, I'll link that down below. Um, but today, today I'm going to do the Jamie Oliver Brussels sprouts, which look amazing. Brussels sprouts are like an unpopular opinion, but one of my favourite vegetables. I think, I think it's because I only really have them at Christmas and it always feels like a bit of a treat um, whenever I have them. So, yeah, Jamie Oliver does this recipe. Oh, guys, it looks incredible. It's like um, sausage meat, apple, sage. I actually need to go and pick some sage. Let me get my boots. I've been living in these recently, guys. My Ugg boots. 
<gasps> these are like my favorite shoes ever now. I've never been an Ugg boot kind of gal, but these are just, do you know what? It's comfort over everything at the moment. These are just so comfortable. I wear them all the time. Put them on. Okay, so Jamie actually bought me a herb garden um, quite a while ago now. And when I was in Morrison's, I keep forgetting that I've got a herb garden. So I still look for like fresh herbs. Oh whenever oh my god it's freezing out here um i always look for fresh herbs whenever i'm like at the shop and then i'm like oh, i've got them at home and funnily enough morrison's didn't have any sage and then at that moment in morrison's i remembered i've got a herb garden so here it is it's quite dark so i don't know how much you guys are going to be able to see but i think there's some sneaky sage just here so I'm gonna pick some of this. <gasps> I feel more excited to make this now. I'm using my my homegrown sage. I say homegrown. This was just planted. I haven't really grown anything. Okay, I've got my sage. Smells incredible. And yeah, so this Brussels sprouts recipe, it like it just completely zhuzhes up your Brussels sprouts. Um, and basically I'll, I'll tell you the ingredients we need in a moment. I'm just gonna kind of like prep everything. Before I cook anything that's from a recipe, I like to kind of like cut it up and prep it first. I just find it a lot easier to follow the recipe if everything is kind of already cut and I've got it all out. So yeah, these are the ingredients you will need. Some fresh sage, salt and pepper, um, some sausages. I've just got these chipolatas, which actually needed to be used up. Um, so that's good that I'm going to be using those tonight. Jamie does actually say to use Cumberland sausages, so I'll, I'll try this recipe again with the Cumberland sausages as well. Then one onion, um, an apple, some Worcestershire sauce, and also some Brussels sprouts. I got some prepared sprouts from Morrison's because I just thought that was a lot easier. So yeah, basically what I'm doing at the moment is like every time I cook something new, that's then added to my roast dinner so every week we're like when i'm doing my roast dinners we are getting something new and i'm able to cook it again and just kind of prepare myself i mean it's quite extra really do you really need to practice christmas dinner like every week on the run up to christmas um i mean it means i get to eat one or two roast dinners a week, which let's be honest, doesn't get much better than that. Right, I'm gonna prep everything and then I will show you guys how we make the puzzles. I literally can't wait. I haven't tasted one of these since last Boxing Day. Okay, first things first, I've prepped everything. Um, I'm gonna be using three bags of Brussels sprouts, which is actually a lot of Brussels sprouts. They're 250 grams each. But the reason I'm making a lot is Jamie Oliver, when I refer to Jamie in this section, I'm talking about our man Jamie Oliver, not my Jamie, just in case you suddenly think that my Jamie is a brilliant cook, I wish. But unfortunately, all he can make is cheesy beans on toast. But that's fine, because I enjoy cooking. So I'm making lots because, number one, I'm going to my mum's tomorrow, and I wanna take her some of this to get her opinion on it, and she's been dying to try, try this as well. Last week, I went to hers for roast dinner. Oh, I love my mum's roast dinner and she did the Jamie Oliver red cabbage recipe which I'm glad this is why I'm doing them before Christmas day it looked gorgeous and we had such high hopes for it but we both didn't like it it tasted too it tasted like a, a Christmas candle <laughs> But yeah, the red cabbage recipe just wasn't my favourite. It tasted very festive, but it also tasted like a Yankee candle. Do you know what I mean? So yeah, making lots of these so I can take them to mum's tomorrow, see what she thinks. And also, Jamie Oliver said as well, this recipe is fabulous for um, bubble and squeak on Boxing Day. And I thought that was a great idea. I thought I could make loads of this. And another thing with this recipe as well, you can make it a few days before Christmas. And apparently it's actually nicer after it's had time to kind of sit and get cold and all the flavors go together and reheat. So yeah, it's good because this is gonna be one of those recipes that I'm gonna do on like the 23rd. So on the 23rd of December, I'm gonna do the Get Ahead Gravy, um, the Brussels and some other sides that I might try as well. So yeah, excited to try that. So I'm gonna boil my Brussels first. Get these cooking. And I'm gonna leave these to cook for about 10 minutes. 
I feel like the hunchback of Notre Dame dressed as like a marshmallow because I have to like bend because otherwise it'd be like this and I just feel like, I mean, I could be like that. Should I just stand up straight? Maybe I will. So next I am going to do my least favourite job in the whole world, which is peeling the sausage meat out of the sausage skins. I hate this job. Ugh, I just hate the sensation of like squeezing the sausages. Um, so I think next time I do this, I will use the big chunky sausages, but this is just what I had in the fridge and they need, needed using. So I'm just gonna like slice these down the middle and then peel off the skin. I would use, <sighs> gross. I would usually just squeeze these out, but chipolatas are so like delicate. <laughs> that won't work. So, worked pretty well actually yeah next to try on my jamie oliver christmas dinner prep i think i'm gonna try the stuffing next um i'm also gonna make some cranberry sauce i've made cranberry sauce quite a lot of times and i used a really delicious recipe last year which is my mum's recipe so i'm gonna do that again um but if you guys would like me to vlog every time i do one of these recipes just let me know and I will try and like plan what days I'm vlogging around what days I'm going to be cooking the roast because it doesn't always have to be a Sunday um, like this week. You can have roast any day of the week. Um, did I just hear that Teddy? Yes, I did. He's gone for a drink. Honestly, Tilly and Teddy are the pickiest. Well, actually, no, Teddy's not picky. Teddy picks up bad habits from Tilly and they will not drink their water on the floor. <laughs> they will only drink fresh water from the tap, in a glass. My lovely sage leaves from my herb garden in there. Sage is such a like festive scent, very Christmassy scent. Um, so I'm just gonna let this cook. It smells amazing. So once it's kind of looking cooked, I've also, as the sausages are cooking, I've kind of just like squished them up like this because you want them to kind of be um, very small. You don't want like massive chunks of sausage. So as they're cooking, I'm kind of just like breaking them up. And then you just want to add your onion in there. I'm so excited to try this. Then I'm going to season with some salt and pepper. onions are cooking away I'm gonna add my apple I just used one pink lady apple I think you can use any apples you like but I love the flavor of pink lady apples but I might experiment with some different ones and then just mix that all in and I'm gonna leave this to cook for about five minutes okay everything is looking nice and cooked I have just drained the Brussels sprouts and also just cut them in half as well. You can cut them in half or you can squash them, but what I'm gonna plan on doing is squash them whilst they're in the pan. So I'm just gonna tip all of these in. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of Worcestershire sauce. So since I added the Brussels sprouts, I just turned the heat down really low and I've just left everything to kind of like get loads of flavor and to cook in the pan. I've left these for about 10 minutes and as you can see, the Brussels have gone like, oh my God, like all char grilled now, which is exactly how I wanted them. So it is now time for the taste test. They smell incredible extremely excited to try this i cannot express to you how christmasy that smells cooking away in the pan i've tried to get a little bit of everything so i can get like full flavor taste test for you guys oh my god it smells so good i kind of forget that you can actually can you buy brussels all year round i'm sure you can but i never think to cook them and they're like one of my favorite things so maybe i will make this more often if it's nice 
Okay, let's go. Oh my goodness. That is so nice. Do you know what it's kind of like? It's kind of like you've already got your roast dinner. You've got a little bit of sausage, a little bit of like applesauce, um, a little bit of onion. It's, oh my goodness. You have to make this guys. It's so nice. I feel like with Brussels sprouts, sometimes they can be quite bitter and I feel like that takes away from them. But this, like the sweetness from the apple and the onion like really just sweetens it up. And then you've got like the, Oh, all the flavors from the sausage, so good. I love this recipe. Mm. I'm very intrigued to see what Jamie thinks of this recipe because Jamie's not a lover of anything green or vegetables in general. He likes roasted veg and that's it. So I'm quite intrigued to see what he thinks of this recipe, but I would literally give it a 10 out of 10. It's as nice as the roast potatoes. It's just so... Oh my gosh, it's just got like so much flavor. Have one more little bit. Mm. So everything is cooking away. The house smells like Christmas day. And my plan for now is I'm gonna go upstairs, have a shower, um, wash my hair because it's, it's, the reason I had to wear a hat today is because if I took my hair up this ponytail, it would just stay like this. Um, it really needs a wash. It's been getting so like greasy so quickly recently and my hair doesn't really go greasy so i mean that's strange but yeah i'm gonna go and have a shower get into my pajamas and then by the time jamie gets home everything should be ready we've got those giant um you know those um yorkshire puddings are, that are like the size of a plate we've got those tonight so we're gonna have our dinner inside the yorkshire which i love just reminds me of my childhood i remember my dad making me dinner in those giant yorkshires and it was like the best thing ever yeah i really hope you guys enjoyed spending the day with me hope you enjoyed coming to primark um i would have posted before this video a big primark haul and gift guide so if you do want to see what i picked up today i will leave that link down below yeah thank you so much for watching i will leave a link down below for hello fresh so you guys can check that out um and my next few videos are going to be very Christmassy. We're in the best, when you guys see this, we'll be in December, which is so exciting. Be the first weekend of December when you guys see this. So I hope you had a lovely start to December. Let me know what you've all been up to. Um, and yeah, lots of exciting videos to come this month. Lots of cozy festive vlogs. Um, I just wanted to say, <laughs> say this every year, but I want to apologize for not doing vlogmas every single year i i contemplate doing it and then i feel like every single year something comes up that kind of stops me doing it in a way um like last year was a very strange year obviously it was the first year without my dad and it was like lockdown last year so christmas was just so different and then this year um we've been so busy with the brand and there are just a lot of things going on um that i will be able to share with you guys really soon and i feel like a lot more things will make sense then hope you're all having a lovely start to december and i'll see you guys in the next video bye bye